Okay, so let's go ahead right now and start working on this side shank. And you remember when we group before, it does group for us um, all of this, but nicely we assign different materials to the side. So we can actually use this in our advantage to apply different type of the materials to those shacks. So first let's go ahead and apply one material to all of this um, stuff. And what I'm going to do, it's using some material from, um, okay, let me check uh, some that I created before. And it's again, it's based on image and reason just overall, just want to show that uh, was done before. Okay. And again, it just image based, it's simple picture. So we'll look right now, you can see that applied and because it says to object parametric, it's stretched to everything. And this is, will be kind of like our filler material. So next what I want to do, it is now select one of the um, facing, facing what we have it and kind of start applying material to this. Okay, and so we will use it image based for this. And what I'm going to do is inside the filter forge, I have it a filter called Dirty Tree Bark, which I will reuse for this. And I created this uh, filter and it's available for free download at filter forge. So um, feel free to use it. Right here you can find different type of the uh, tree kind of bark. And one what I probably want going to use, it's a, a this one by default, we'll go set to uh, seamless styling on this as well. Okay. And I will just render different type of this and we'll just start using with different coloring. So what kind of planks will look semi, like they made from different trees. Again, we'll go here, we'll go filter, render map, diffuse map. And I'm going just to save this image. And there we go. Um, one so next we'll go create a bump map for this as well okay so let's go ahead and create bump map okay we'll go to save this as well okay um next what i'm going to do is just slightly maybe modified colors and let's switch to the diffuse so we can preview. Okay, this way and I'll just Okay, just slightly and you can see how you can modify on different variations and So 190 degrees on that one and you can come up with all different if you just don't want you can click next bearing so it will just go cycle through different type um, in many cases let's just select different that way preset and what I'm going to do I'm just going and save all these different preset and we'll use them there okay so let's go save and we'll go use it as a two okay, that way. Okay, and we'll go ahead and bump map two. Okay. So we'll use that one as well. And sometimes bump map, you don't need it, but it does uh, make look a little bit better. So, and I will just save only three different and we'll maybe alter them or add additional effect to each of them, different type um, degradation inside the view so we can use it. 
But again, this is nicer, nicer way to, um, and faster way to do this. Filter, we go to bump map now. Okay, so there you go. Okay, now we're going inside the view. And for this one plank, let's go use it map pictures. Okay, we'll select our first one, diffuse. Okay, we'll go to um, highlights. Let's just remove it, bump map, edit. Okay, we'll go ahead, add additional node. The image, be sure it is, again, node set as the um, project texture map. Okay, we'll go to connect. Let's click OK. Um, this is actually doesn't really matter, but we'll just set object parametric anyway for this one. We reduce to 500. Okay, let's click OK for this one. The one thing uh, problem is if we try to copy paste in many cases, let me show you one thing. So we copy this material, we go inside and we have a 3 of 12. What's happened sometimes? The material it can be um, merged together so be careful when you do this um, and uh, some other VU 8, 9, it's 1 so it's kind of nice you can apply this way and we can go ahead after inside and modify this way so just be sure your um, the material does not merge together when you do copy pasting this way Let's click OK this way. Okay, we have it another one. We can go ahead and paste to this one as well. We open and just replace the texture here as well. A different one. Okay, and we can go ahead and kind of add more and more towards this but I want kind of um, repeating so we don't need to do all of this same time so we'll go to this one and let's add moss to this as well okay Okay, so we can preview and you can see kind of nice we have it all this different type of the wood um, maybe bump map is a little bit too high so let's modify it and see right here we have it 50 that is okay we'll go this one probably to about 50 as well and the reason is it's a little bit too high bump map for the scale we're using so okay and uh, We'll go to copy this one and paste here. So I'll just go to alter about every third one, paste. Okay, and maybe right here, pasting. Okay. So we'll go copy this one now. And you can notice right now how many materials already are reducing kind of because we're kind of pacing them and amount of them. So, okay, and let's just use this one. So right here we create it and we can preview and we have it kind of interesting shag with all these different type of materials applying so it's look um, some kind of what unique now we can apply to the roof and one you remember it says about this sidebar so if we look on this and let's paste um, the material if we preview it will be go vertically so what we want to do we want to go to edit this material go inside there and rotate so it will go vertically 
on this case, um, when we preview the grain on a wood will go right direction. So it's look much better that way. Okay, also let's apply some materials to the, this type of the roof. And what I want to do, I want to actually reuse maybe about this one material I think will look nice. So we'll copy. Okay, we'll select this material and we have it one front and side. So I will apply to this side. So we'll paste it. Okay, and we also need to look, the grain is going right way. Sometimes if grain going wrong way, we can change. And also I want to take um, different material, maybe this kind of, um, this material. Okay, and apply to the side of this. So you can see when you start building your library, you have it kind of nice. You can reuse materials um, for the better. So it's work very well afterwards. Okay, and now let's go just to modify this one um, plank. And for this one, we can use it or um, what do you want it uh, type or we can use the wood different types so all painted wood or we can use any different type of the color for that one so it's up to you, whatever material you want to apply a um, couple things let's do right now so I'm going to select oops, I'm going to select these objects okay right here so uh, let me so I'm grouping them together and one thing what I want to do I want to bake them so let's go ahead do this you'll notice how um, we can reduce amount of polygons so it's apply well and we can just rename it okay I want to keep this separate so in case if people want to remove it, they can easy remove it um problem is right now we start stretching because but it won't be that visible um, but overall just remember our wood start kind of stretching up because we added additional um height to our object parametric size but okay let's go ahead closer here and so we can kind of look on this add-on we added here So right here you can see we have a very nice um, workout shed we may want to work a little bit more add dirt to this so it will kind of matching our um, wall and we can do this by um, selecting okay hot and we can go ahead uh, remove this one here we can add the dirt layer let's go to next Okay, same, we'll add dirt layer to this. We can go to other one. Also, instead dirt layer, we can apply a snow layer and now you will have it a um, nice wintry look for your um, models. And again, after when we're done, I'll show you how easy by using our winter park, you can do this with the Geek Play winter park, easy add icicles or other options. Okay, right here, and one more time. And there you go, we have it. It's kind of add this extra dirt layer, so it's kind of matching, come together. Okay. And we have it very nice, this texture on the side ones. Okay, uh, logs. Again, remember, this is very close up. This is a model, what we've done with details in everything. It's designed to render about this is closest and when we go far away so it's model designed to render not very close up so for the uh, resolution and details it's actually very great what we are already receiving right now from this model with all this texturing we're applying and other effects okay so let's go ahead right now work on these portions right here and for this I want actually using plank wood so let's go ahead inside the um, filter fortune see um, 
planks if we have it some okay right here we have it very nice nailed the wood planks so I want to use I want to use this one we'll have it seamless styling set and let's see if we have it diffuse map for this so we'll go ahead and save this okay plank D okay and then we'll just use those ones planks and uh, four sides okay so let's go ahead next and select um, bump map we'll just go ahead and save this one as well okay till it start rendering we'll go inside the view and at this point we'll go ahead and select this side one okay you notice we have it both and one thing about the VU, VU before um, version 9, it's only supported the triangles polygons. So whatever you imported, it was converted to triangles. The quads was supporting on version 9. So currently I'm using VU 8, so we'll have a work with triangle polygons. But just let you know, if you use a different model and you have quads, they will be translated to the triangles in a VU 8 or early versions. So for that, you maybe want to use VU9 if you want to work with the quads. So right here, let's say, here's my front, my other front, and a back one. We don't care really about a back panel at all. I'm caring only about this front one, so I'm going open. Again, we'll go to map it picture. We'll go ahead and loading our plank that we just created right here. Okay, let's go ahead and open this plank. Okay, I am just want to reduce my this one will go to bump map edit functions okay um, in the view it will create this empty node so you just delete it if you don't need it we created project texture map we'll go ahead and select our bump map for this as well so right here okay okay uh, same time when we do this I'll just create my scale and connect other scales so we have it easy to control okay because we probably will bake this to the width of wall we want to reduce at this point to at least half so about six maybe even so we'll scale down at six on this we'll take bumps and reduce maybe to about 250 so right here we have a very nice material um we can apply as well a dirt to this but not at this point i just want to leave it like this maybe apply some color correction and it's nice right here in a view we have it options for overall color correction so we can go ahead and modify i want to saturate and make just a little bit slightly nice things about this you don't need it work on all your image just slightly adjusting and it's work very well in this case okay and right here you can see we very close actually working on our uh, model okay and we're applying texture so right here we have it, our model kind of done with the roof with our walls done um, sides on the done we have it only door to work some windows and these small roofs and some details right here which is um we actually can work right now what is uh, let's do this way okay so I'm just readjusting my camera so we can look see if you notice they're going in 45 degrees about from each so we need to apply properly way color on them um, let's go ahead and just select one okay um, next what I'm going to do if you notice I have uh, some of the already created mine um, preset where I have it 45 degrees so let me open this and what's happening I created material same way is just only in 45 degrees kind of preset and you can do same from filter forge or from any other applications um, let me trim down to one one thing be sure when you work on this okay you set to properly standard and uh, 
scale as well as apply correctly. So if we apply this one and preview right now, you can see our grain going. It's not maybe all the way 45, maybe more, but it start going to right direction. So we can actually going and modify the problem inside the view when you start working uh, with this, you can rotate only to 45 degrees. So you cannot really rotate, um, have a too much flexibility how you're rotating this. Um, so you need to go inside the Photoshop and adjust their little bit angles for that. But on this case, it will work just fine. Also, I have some mold. So let me delete this layer and we'll add our own moss to this. Okay. So we have a nice kind of applied. Um, also, I want to change a little bit color to add brownish tone. If you look right here, we kind of more inside that color. So I'll just slightly adjust. Also, when you change tone, um, be sure you kind of try to keep it in the same color palette. On other cases, it's kind of uh, wood doesn't handle well in this case, and it starts jumping too much on sides. So right here, we have it our applied to this point. You know what? Maybe it's too um, reddish. So let's see this way. And we'll try to keep kind of same, but okay, this is about right. Okay. Um, again, we can, okay, we can copy these. Okay. And now we can go ahead and um, apply it to this. Okay. Only we can go inside and rotate it. So in this case, our grain going right direction. Okay. And we can do same things for um, the other one. Okay. Let's see which one we have it. We have it this two. Okay. So we'll paste here. We'll paste to this one. And uh, I want to just copy so it will be faster. Paste and paste. So also what I want to do, I want at this point, copy them. Okay, group them together. Okay, group this together. Let's move it up. Okay, and group these two together. So now we go ahead and bake to polygons. And kind of, we probably bake again, so naming it's not necessary, but it does help when you try to find Again, if you can look in the end, um, after all model done, we still need to come back and kind of start tweaking more on this model. Okay, next, what I want to do, I want actually, um, oops, I don't want to do this. I want to select this front, okay, copy this material. Okay, we remember we have a back material, we'll paste it there as well right now. And then next, I want to select the roof. Okay, in a roof, we have it different materials. So we have it sides, bottom, and sides. So these ones, I actually want to paste on this two. So actually, this one maybe, let me see if it's merged. Yep, it's merged them, so I don't want to do this. But um, I want to actually apply some other material, but this is, I may reuse for some else. So I want actually them separated. Um, easy way to do after we apply material, we can go inside and modify it slightly. Okay, so in this case, when we go pasting, we recognize this as different materials, so it doesn't combine them together. And uh, in that case, it's kind of useful for us. So let's go ahead and copy multi-material. 
we'll go to this side of the roof and we'll just paste multi-material okay we have it right here i think i have it a couple are um, merging with other roof so we have it several roofs and the problem is right now okay let's go look right here the hexagon okay so i have it right here one roof and you notice right this we have it same roof too so the problem is if i try to um and it's actually good it's happened because it's happened with names if i try to overlay it, it will scrap with all my project that i did before so what i want to do i want to go ahead and um okay rename them like this okay next i want to go ahead file export obg and i want to export as a version 2 okay next inside the view what i want to do control z okay i want to go ahead and import object okay okay i'm going to import the other object i just created Okay, we'll just can go ahead be sure it's kind of same size okay at this point um, let's go ahead and ungroup it and we'll go ahead and select um, okay let me go right here select this control G so I just be sure it's exactly the same size okay like this okay it's perfect size okay next um we can go ahead and group it okay we'll select this roof and we can okay, Z, move this roof and replace from what we have it so we'll select the roof and side roofs okay let's go to delete that one we'll move this one instead okay we also select these two roofs we'll move them right here and we can also just be sure they will matching properly so this okay and at this point we can go ahead and oops delete so it's just small very fast fix in case if uh, you're already too far ahead to do some stuff and probably something else may happen um, so right now let's go ahead and select the one we have it and we can just delete it there you go so we have our roof in place as we're supposed to be and we just replace it separate them so let's go ahead and copy multi-material next i'm going right here and i'm going to paste multi-material okay so it we working on this roof okay as well you know what let me take my camera and just move it leave it on the side I want to see how the roof look on this side probably need just like a readjusting because I see right here the points is appearing so about like this There you go okay so right here we have it our um other roofs let's apply the material and the problem is when we start to applying this material you'll see how the scale is changing on this and um let me just 
reposition in this case and you know what we'll start working and working on the these roofs and glass in our next tutorials